Globally, research organizations never stop pushing forward toward their ultimate aim of creating a more energy-efficient battery technology. Any device that cannot be plugged into a standard wall socket must rely on batteries for power. However, there are restrictions on how we may use them, which lessens the pleasure they provide. Experts have thus been laboring tirelessly to develop a more effective battery. A diamond battery is a relatively new invention that has the potential to store energy for millennia, as well as being utilized in the eventual disposal of radioactive waste. One issue remains however. What exactly makes these diamond batteries so long-lasting, and how exactly do they function? Join us as we reveal these new, utterly insane nuclear diamond batteries which might last thousands of years. First, let's understand what nuclear waste is. The phrase radioactive waste refers to any waste polluted with radioactive material. Nuclear medicine, nuclear research, nuclear power generation, rare earth mining and nuclear weapon reprocessing all generate radioactive waste. For public safety and environmental protection, government officials closely oversee the interim storage and final disposal of radioactive waste. High-level radioactive waste is very radioactive and hot due to decay heat, hence cooling and shielding are required. Low-level radioactive waste contains items such as paper, rags, tools and clothing with low quantities of short-lived radiation and may be disposed of safely without extra measures. Reprocessing facilities recycle about 96% of the uranium and mixed oxide fuels used in nuclear power plants. The remaining 4% is made up of minor actinides and fission products, including stable and rapidly decaying elements, medium-lived fission products like strontium-90 and cesium-137, and seven long-lived fission products with half-lives ranging from hundreds of thousands to millions of years. Aside from uranium and plutonium, neutron capture produces minor actinides and heavy elements. They are particularly radioactive because they are alpha emitters with half-livers ranging from years to millions. Although these elements have potential and, to a lesser extent, actual applications, commercial-scale reprocessing using the Purex process discards them as waste alongside the fission product. Moving on, more details on nuclear waste. The waste is then turned into ceramic glass appropriate for long-term storage in an underground facility. The type of waste and the radioactive isotopes it contains affect how long radioactive waste must be stored. Segregation and surface or near-surface storage has been the dominant short-term options for radioactive waste. High-level waste is deposited permanently in a deep geological deposit, whereas recycling or transmuting it is favored for inventory reduction. Wasted nuclear fuel recycling involves regulatory and economic obstacles and the risk of radioactive of contamination if chemical separation techniques fail to achieve extremely high purity. Furthermore, elements can exist in desirable and unwanted isotopes, necessitating costly and energy-intensive isotope separation, which is now impossible. Nobody wants radioactive waste from nuclear power plants stored near their homes or even moved through their communities. We continue to produce more of the dreadful substance even though it is toxic, lethal and takes thousands of years to degrade completely. Now, a California company called NDB claims to be able to solve both of these problems. They claim to have created a self-powered battery that can last 28,000 years for your future nuclear waste-powered electric vehicle or electric vehicle or iPhone 1.6 X 104. Next, let's look at the battery in detail. Because the battery is constructed of two different types of nano diamonds and generates its charge rather than just storing energy from another source, it is nearly impossible to damage the battery whether it is mounted in a car or another type of moving item. Furthermore, the company claims its battery is safe because it emits significantly less radiation than the average individual. Following the conclusion of COVID, NDB intends to begin lab operations to build its first commercial prototype. Moreover, where will the raw material be used in the creation of the battery come from? The nuclear waste used to make NDB's battery batteries will come from irradiated reactor components caused by the presence of fuel rods in nuclear power plants. Even though it is not nearly as dangerous as spent fuel, the highest grade radioactive waste there is nevertheless much of it at atomic power plants. The core of a conventional graphite moderated reactor may accommodate 2,000 tons of graphite, according to the International Atomic Energy Agency. The weight of one ton, or 2,205 pounds, is referred to as a ton in the United States. Graphite is radioactive due to the presence of carbon-14, the same radio isotope employed by archaeologists for carbon dating. It has a half-life of 5,730 years and decays into nitrogen-14, an anti-neutrino, and a beta decay electron. The beta decay electron caught the attention of NDB due to its charge and the possibility that it could be used to generate power. NDB refines graphite
graphite and transforms it into microscopic diamonds using a proprietary process. The company has built on previous research to create tiny carbon-14 diamonds that generate significant power. Diamonds not only act as heat sinks but also as a semiconductor for energy collection. However, because they are still radioactive, NDB classifies them with other carbon-12 diamonds that are less expensive but not radioactive. These gleaming synthetic casings protect the radioactive carbon-14 diamonds while also looking fantastic. More on the diamond battery. To collect, store and discharge energy, NDA plans to manufacture batteries in various standard and unique sizes such as AA, AAA, 18650 and 2170. A super capacitor, a small circuit board and numerous stacked diamond layers will be included in each battery. After all is said and done, the business claims to have built a long-lasting battery. Scott informed Digital Trends' Luke Dormill that an alkaline AA battery weighs about 20 grams, has an energy density storage value of 700 joules per gram and uses up this energy if used continuously for about 24 hours. A 1 gram C14 diamond beta battery will generate 15 joules daily for 5,730 years, totaling 2.7 terajoules of energy storage. Scott stated in a press release that the diamond battery's power could be beneficial in situations where ordinary batteries cannot be charged or replaced. Obvious applications include pacemakers, satellites, high altitude drones, and even spacecrafts. This research is still in its early stages. Still, it has great promise because it could provide a practical application for a large amount of radioactive waste and genuinely great battery life. Scott told Digital Trends that this is an excellent example of how the UK can create money from garbage. Is the battery safe for use? According to the official website of the NDB, the diamond battery is outfitted with three distinct levels of enhanced safety guards. The isotope's radiation may be trapped within the site, the polycrystalline diamond encapsulation, preventing outside interference. Thermal vents will be built inside the diamond battery to regulate the rate of heat transfer rate. NDB will also use a boron-doped single crystalline diamond, SCD, to convert excess neutrons into alpha particles to make the most of neutron radiations. The diamond battery will use an ion implementation method to prevent creation of fissionable isotopes as an added security measure. This precaution ensures that the diamond battery is never discharged for any reason. According to the firm, the SED is placed within the battery to prevent the battery from absorbing its own heat while increasing the rate at which energy is transformed into usable electricity. An NDB study found that when used in a low-power application like a satellite sensor, a battery might theoretically endure for 28,000 years. This has led the company to theorize that a single battery could conceivably power several vehicles for up to 90 years, considerably beyond the average lifespan of a car. Consumer devices like phones and tablets have estimated nine-year battery lives. Finally, the battery may revolutionize smartphones. Smartphones become more innovative yearly thanks to upgraded technology and cutting-edge processes. Even though our devices are constantly improving, one technology is holding them back – batteries. Companies worldwide are racing to uncover the latest breakthrough in battery technology as consumers desire longer-lasting batteries in the expectation of one day being able to do away with wires. The hunt for the next Tetra Pak unfathomable riches is on, whether in the form of solid-state batteries, graphene batteries, or amplified lithium. What's the big deal this time? To make batteries from nuclear waste seems impossible. Consider it in the context of an iPhone, according to NDB's Neil Nika to New Atlas. If your battery is the same size, you can charge it from the dead to complete in one hour. Think about it. Consider a world in which you do not have to worry about keeping your battery charged throughout the day. Now multiply it by a week, a month. How about for an extended period? Technological breakthroughs have enabled us to do just that. NDB anticipates that a low-power commercial version will be ready in a few years, followed by a high-power version in about five years. If NDB's technology is successful, it might be a game-changer, allowing electronics and vehicles worldwide to run on inexpensive renewable power. The company states in its promotional materials, we can start at the nanoscale and progress up to power satellites and trains. Once production reaches scale, the company believes its batteries will be competitively priced, if not cheaper than existing batteries such as lithium-iron. Nuclear waste owners may be even required to pay the corporation to dispose of their hazardous material. Well, that marks the end of today's video. We hope you enjoyed it. Make sure to like and subscribe. Remember to leave a comment in the section down below. Thanks for watching.